Well, as people rush to get at home COVID tests ahead of New Year's celebrations, we're taking a closer look at how effective they are against the latest hurdle in the pandemic, the new Omicron variant. Uh, yeah, now with so many mutations, the question is, will these at home kits be able to detect the Omicron variant? And if so, how accurate these tests actually are? For more answers, we turn now to 7 Action News reporter Jen Schantz. You are live with the latest insight from doctors. Jen. Yeah, Allie, these at home tests, as you know, as we've been reporting, they are getting harder and harder to find. But if you do have your hands on one, the FDA says yes, they can detect the Omicron variant. However, they tend to be a little less sensitive and therefore the FDA is warning there could be an increase in false negatives. As you get ready to watch the ball drop or pop the champagne, doctors are urging people not to immediately assume that negative at home COVID test means you're in the clear. The problem with the at home test is that the false negativity rate is about 20%. Dr. Asha Shah Jahan with Beaumont Health says roughly two out of every 10 negative at home test results are actually positive. And when it comes to the new Omicron variant, that number, she says, may be even higher. Just going by one home test, since the false, uh, false negative rate is so high, it could you know, falsely mislead you as being negative when you're actually positive. According to the state health department, there are now at least 75 confirmed cases of Omicron in Michigan, first detected here earlier this month. And this week, the FDA announced that some at-home tests appear to be less sensitive to Omicron, something to keep in mind as you prepare to ring in 2022. The country's chief infectious disease expert, Dr. Anthony Fauci, urges caution but still encourages the use of at-home tests. In some of the tests, there appears to be somewhat of a diminution, not a disappearance, but a diminution of the sensitivity. Dr. Shah Jahan says these at home tests are more accurate when you're symptomatic and are used over multiple days. That's because these tests measure for antigens. The antigen test actually is testing your immune response to the virus. And it's a one time immune response that it's testing. Whereas the molecular test, which is the PCR test, it does viral replication. So it tests it multiple times. So it's more accurate of a test. Advice from doctors just to be sure that you are not infecting people around you on this New Year's Eve. If you're heading out to celebrations, get a PCR test to be sure. We talked about the possibility of increased false negatives, false positives, though, on at home tests. Those are pretty rare, according to doctors. So something to keep in mind. Reporting live this morning, Jen Shantz, 7 Action News. A lot of important information, Jen. Thank you.